Okay, good morning. It's May 27, Wednesday hump day, and we're stopping at Crowley Park this morning. We're going to go see if we can get a bass, maybe. Wish us luck. Okay, we're going to start out with the foam grasshopper in the size 4. This is the one we were using at Duck Creek the other day. Got the uh, two weight discount switch rod. And we got the old PST Skagit head. Or actually, those are the real Trout Max. And we're going to just kind of work this area here. Maybe I might get a strike or two. It's a little chilly this morning, but maybe uh, they'll hit on the top. There's a hit. That's a nice bass. That is a nice bass. All right. Let's go get him over here. First fish of the day is going to be a bass. Just get him in. We'll just get him horsed in. We got some 12 pound tests, so we think we can get him in pretty easy. Oh, come on. All right. He's a little skinny, but. Yeah, he's a little skinny. Got a big mouth, though. All right, first fish of the day is a bass. Let's see if we can get another one to hit on the top water on the grasshopper. Got him. Little bass just kind of swiped at it. Yeah, he swiped at it. <laughs> All right. Little bass. All right. Bass number two on the grass. Nice. Okay, let's see if we can get another one. That one hit it as it was just sitting still, so maybe we'll do a slower retrieve. Kind of saw a shadow come up right behind it, and that's when we when he struck. Something tail in it. Can't tell what it is though. I think it may be a bluegill. Let's just shoot it back out there. There's the hit. All right. Along the shallows. All right, number three on a no retrieve. Pretty much cast it, let it sit for a few seconds. All right, let's get in there. Got him. Not bad. You're right. What we're doing is just kind of working the the bank. It's got a drop off then a little ledge and then it drops off again and we've seen it before when we've walked here where they're kind of hanging by that little rocky drop off all right let's just kind of work our way up the bank here and see if we can get another one to hit maybe before we have to call it quits Take this there. Alright, uh, no takers there, but let's go ahead and try this part of the bank. Then we're gonna have to call it quits. We'll just kind of work our way this way and see if we can get something to hit on this side. There. Oh, missed it. Oh, missed that one. We missed that one. Just that opportunity. He's on there briefly. We could feel him on the hook. Let's go take a look up there by the pier and 
trying to look in the water. All right, let's go peek in the water. Maybe you might see something here. Tough to see in this angle. Oh man, tough to see, big time. Huh. Let's see. See a little bluegill trailing behind it right now. Two of them. Yeah. Little blue golly. Another bluegill looking behind it. Well, it's good to see that there's bluegill here. That's what was tailing it earlier. About three or four trailing behind the uh, grasshopper. So, let's see if we can take a peek over here real quick and see. Maybe there's something lurking over here where we were earlier. Yeah, another bluegill. Just see the outline of it in the water. There's one playing with it. About four, four of them. Use a smaller fly, probably could get them, get them to strike. This bigger one be a little bit too big for them. Yeah, they're just tailing behind it. All right. See if there's something maybe lurking out here. Yeah, another bluegill. Oh, there's a bass looking at it now. Little guy. Little bass. Okay, so another little bass. I think it's like one of the ones that we just caught about that size. It's looking at it. All right, slow retrieve. Don't want much retrieve at all, so let it sit on the water, and they kind of come up behind it and look at it. There's that one bluegill again. Oh, there's a bigger bass. All right, he came out of the shallows. Oh well, let's see if we can get him up here. And we're using 12-pound test, so. Hopefully we can just horse it up here without having to without having to bring it up or go to the shore. So let's see if we can do it. Let's do a hand over hander. There we go. Okay. Alright, well this one's not as skinny as the other one. Alright, let's just get them up here. Alright. Slow retrieve. Hit it just as it was just resting, came under the brush. So let's go and let this guy go, get bigger, and hopefully we can get a, some more good pictures or video. There he is, foam grasshopper, really beat up. So when we raised at Duck Creek, and now this morning at Crowley Park. All right, that was fun. Came out of nowhere, it was underneath that green brush stuff. You know, just kind of letting it sit. There was a little one that came up behind it, and then he, he came up out of nowhere. Now there's a little bluegill looking at it. And the fly's kind of beat up, so let's see if we can kind of work it by the shallow, by this brushy thing again, and maybe something else will hit it. it just come out of nowhere. Well, came out of the brush. That was cool. Do a further cast and see. Get another one to hit from back out there. Maybe sitting still. And we'll just let it sit this time. Because of this angle, we can see, like right now, something's tagging it. It looks like it's a little bluegill. It's just 
toss it out here and see if we can get a better angle of one maybe playing with it. There's a hit. <laughs> you hit it just as we were getting ready to lift up. Another bass. All right, so it's a slow retrieve. Pretty much let them do the work. Let them hit it, and uh, they're taking it. All right, we got to call it quits here and go hit the day job. There it is. Cool beans. Okay, let's go and call it a day. Bottom line, we got some bass. Uh, looked like the retrieve today was a slow retrieve. Let it sit, twitch, let it sit, twitch, and really let them do the uh, striking. So that was good. All right, fun stuff on the Hydros, uh, Hydros SL1 and that Max Catch two weight discount switch rod. Okay, that was a fun uh, quick trip over there at Crowley Park here in Richardson. Ended up getting a few bass and that uh, retrieve. Well, you just basically let it sit and let them strike. All right, fun stuff. Do stay tuned. We'll hopefully get some more of these videos out to you and do like and subscribe.